Welcome, listeners, to another episode of the show. I am your host with the most, Chris Talks. Hope that you're having a wonderful day because I am definitely having a wonderful day, y'all. <sighs> All right, y'all. All right, listeners, let's get into our top topic for this episode, which is Mr. Diddy Titty is back in the news. Diddy sued by male producer over alleged sexual assault. All right. Uh, accusations of what? Of of unauthorized groping. What? Bruh. Accusations of unauthorized groping. Wait, what? Come on, Diddy Teddy. Come on, man. What's wrong with you, bro? What is wrong with this dude? All right, whatever. Uh, uh, as always, um, I'm going to let Sarah my uh, um, part the story, and I'm going to give you my view and my opinion at the end of it. All right, let's get into it. Hit it, y'all. Diddy is facing more legal troubles after a male music producer filed a federal lawsuit accusing him of sexual harassment. According to court documents obtained by RadarOnline.com, producer Rodney, Lil Rod, Jones said he lived and traveled with Diddy from September 2022 to November 2023. Jones said he produced nine songs on Diddy's latest album Love. In his suit, he said, throughout his time with Mr. Combs, Mr. Jones witnessed, experienced, and endured many things that went far beyond his role as a producer on the Love album. He said, Mr. Combs required Mr. Jones to record him constantly. On several occasions, Mr. Combs took Mr. Jones' cell phone and began recording himself. As a result, Mr. Jones has secured hundreds of hours of footage and audio recordings of Mr. Combs, his staff, and his guests engaging in serious illegal activity. Jones said he has secured irrefutable evidence of the acquisition and use of ecstasy, cocaine, GHB, ketamine, marijuana and mushrooms lawsuit claimed. Throughout his time living with Mr. Combs, Mr. Jones was the victim of constant unsolicited and unauthorized groping and touching of his anus by Mr. Combs, Jones claimed he was forced by Mr. Combs to work in Mr. Combs' bathroom as Mr. Combs walked around naked and showered in a clear glass enclosure. The producer said he complained to one of Diddy's executive staff, but she allegedly told him, you know, Sean will be Sean. The chief of staff also attempted to downplay Mr. Combs groping of Mr. Jones' anus and genitals, as friendly horseplay, stating that those acts were Mr. Combs' way of showing that he likes you, Mr. Jones. The lawsuit read, Jones said he believes the executive aided and abetted Diddy's sexual assault of him and was working with Mr. Combs to groom him into accepting a homosexual relationship. The producer claimed Diddy even showed him an alleged video of Stevie J having sex with another man. According to the suit, the complaint included additional allegations that young Miami's cousin sexually assaulted him. Diddy's powerhouse lawyer, Sean Holly, responded to the lawsuit. She said, Lil Rod is nothing more than a liar who filed a $30 billion lawsuit shamelessly looking for an undeserved payday. His reckless name dropping about events that are pure fiction and simply did not happen is nothing more than a transparent attempt to garner headlines. She added, we have overwhelming, indisputable proof that his claims are complete lies. Our attempts to share this proof with Mr. Jones' attorney, Tyrone Blackburn, have been ignored, as Mr. Blackburn refuses to return our calls. We will address these outlandish allegations in court and take all appropriate action against those who make them. Yo. Yo. Wait, what? Yeah. Yeah. Give me the little John version. What? Say it again. What? Is wrong with this dude? Bruh. He is bugging out. Diddy Teddy is bugging out. Hit drop my drop. Oh, my goodness. Drop my ear home for me, please. Drop my ear home for me. <laughs> All right, folks. This is part of the, the show where I. I I give y'all my view and my opinion. This is our entertainment segment. We have been doing a little bit of entertainment segments. 
Um, yeah, we're doing a lot of them. I don't know why. But, all right. Um, man, Diddy, I, I don't I don't know what to say about this guy no more. I have to truly be honest. I don't know what to say about this guy no more. Now he's being sued by a guy named... What, pull that up on the big screen, please. What is this guy's name? Little Rod. Are you serious? The guy's name is Little Rod? Wow. You think Diddy named him Little Rod? Because he, he probably got a... Alright, never mind. I don't want to... I'm just saying. I'm just saying. <sighs> Again, listen. Sorry, I'm talking to uh, my staff in the background. But I'm just, I'm. I have to wonder why he's calling him Little Rod, though. Like, who has a a name, Little Rod? Like. And what's with all the littles? Why is everybody little? Why is everybody little? What about Big Rod? How about Big Rod? Why you gotta call him Little Rod? Why is everybody little? I, I I don't understand. Little Wayne, Little John, Little Little Sam, Little David, Little Little Sean, Little Buxton, Little Baby. How many littles that are you going to have? But let's get back. Uh, let, let me get back to this. As I said before, this was going. To, this was bound to happen. Okay, listen, folks. I'm not surprised by this. I'm not surprised. Because eventually, some male was going to come out. I mean, a dude got sued by, like, what, three or four females? And now, a male is coming out to say that damn near the same thing happened to him that he had to sit there and watch and film uh, these acts because he was being told to now I would I, I want to say this okay uh, we got to give him the dummy buzzer real quick I have to. I know some people, somebody out there like, why are you giving him the dummy buzzer? He the one who was sexually assaulted. Da, 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 da. I know. I feel you. But I have to say this. With, with, with you having a moral conscience, okay? And this is where, to me, all these workers, all these people, now they're trying to come out and sue these people or whatever, whatever. I mean, yeah. The hammer is dropping on Diddy. I'm, I'm not. I'm not. You know what I'm saying? Denying that. Bruh. It is. The hammer is dropping on Diddy. But. You are sitting here. You're taping. You're filming in these things. You're witnessing these things. You're watching them. You're filming them. You're filming them. Now. What kind of morals do you have? That your job is worth worth more than your morals. Like a dollar is worth more than your morals. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm just spitting it real. I'm just keeping it real. I'm just keeping, because all these people, they keep, it's the same thing with R. Kelly. You know what I'm saying? It's the same thing with R. Kelly. No, I'm being real. Y'all witnessing these people do these things. Y'all not doing nothing. And these people, I'm so serious, they do nothing. Until something like this happens, one person say something. Now, uh, 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 fifty people want to come forward, and da da da. Suddenly, one person step up. Everybody not scared no more. So that's how it goes. <laughs> I'm just being real. How does that work? How does that work? Now, I do. I think this guy is probably chasing some money. Maybe, maybe not. I mean, the accusations against. Uh, Diddy Teddy is it's like no I'm just I'm I'm serious the accusations against Diddy Teddy it they come from so many different sources 
so many different sources. Now, this, do I think the guy, do I think that he assaulted him? Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. In that entertainment industry, yes. It is very, very much possible. It is possible. I'm not taking the guy's side. I'm just saying it's possible that that could have taken place. Okay? Because of the history of this man. He has a really messed up history. Okay? And we also have to consider that um, he's by shy you know? Bruh. He is. He's by shy. Bruh. You know, he's by, but he's shy. You don't want to, you don't want the whole world to know. But yeah, he is. So, yeah, he could have. I mean, he blew up a guy's car. I don't even know why he didn't end up in jail for, for that one. Like, I don't know. Bruh. If I blow somebody's car up, I guarantee you my melanin butt will be right in jail. I guarantee you I'll be right in jail. I, y- y- yeah, you best believe it. I'll be right in jail. My melanin butt will be right in jail. Right in jail. Best believe that. But no jail time for this guy. No charges pressed, no nothing. Nothing. But now this guy comes out and says he's been sexually assaulted. Uh, um, he's been groped that he had to sit there and watch Diddy do these things and then he had to sit there and watch a tape see yo and you know what I just peeped that how Stevie J get in this wait what yeah man did you he yeah Stevie J sitting there watching Stevie J has some relations with another man bruh why was he forced to watch that i don't know but if you being forced to god that's what i'm saying we are to these people that work in the industry like where are like where are your mother morals bro where are your fucking morals is that almighty dollar w- really worth it because where you like, where are your morals, bro? And then later on, that's what I'm saying. Later on, they come and they want to sue. You participated in it. To me, you just as guilty as the person is doing it. In my opinion. Message. Yeah, say whatever you want. But that's just in my opinion. If I, if, if I sit there and I'm sitting in a car... And one of my friends go rob the, the, the a bank and they hop back in the car and I pull up. Ain't I accessory to that to the robbery? Am I am I not? Right? Message. So isn't aren't they oh what you say? I you should come on the mic and say that. But you say because oh because they were for oh because they were forced. Bruh. Really? Really? Bruh. But you went to work the next day. You didn't report it to the cops. You didn't do nothing. Bruh. <sighs> excuses, excuses, excuses. Excuses, excuses. This guy, did he need to be already in jail? Whatever. They need to already arrest this guy on whatever charges that they're going to arrest him on or whatever. Whatever. Just get all the uh, mainstream people, put them together. Lock them up. That's it. All your your biggest superstars and all that stuff, just lock them up. That's it. I'm dead serious. Well, him, definitely him. Mine's well. Mine's well. But I don't know if um, uh, this is true or not. Like I said, these are just allegations. Even as we did the further research into it, we found out that all of it is just really allegations, but um, we did also note that note that one thing that they did say in this uh, that was true. Diddy's uh, lawyers have been trying to contact this guy's lawyers to show the evidence that they have, but you know what evidence 
really would like that be like bruh what are you going to show that he's a gambler like he gambles or something like he's in debt that's why he's trying to ah uh, there might be evidence that he participated in some of those acts himself bruh all right now we don't know we don't know we're gonna wait and see all right listen um but Diddy is getting he's getting sued up there right oh what do you want okay so you want me okay so okay so you want that's why you're pointing at the comments say something bro say something bro say something all right so um i'm gonna read one of the comments that well we might read a few more but let's get at least one up in here one to come and say it's like what pull it up make that bigger please thank you so it's it's like this dude said dude sold his soul <laughs> and made his sacrifice for success now the devil uh wants his due wow now the devil wants to do. Ooh. And the chickens have come to roost. I just said that in a way. I didn't say it like he said it. Nah, I didn't say it like he said it, but I said that like in a way. Like, yo, you know, they just come like, they coming out the right to left. I'm just saying. Uh, another comment says, billionaires don't become billionaires from being a good person. Normally, I would, I would, I would what? I would say they sign a contract with the man below. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Maybe the man, <laughs> where is this? The man we never want to meet. I don't want to meet him. I don't want to meet him. Bruh. Nah, man. You good on that one. You can have that. I don't want to meet. I do not want to meet Satan, the devil, Lucifer, whatever you want to call him. I don't want to meet him. I don't want to meet him at all. You, if you want to meet him, you're welcome to. Have fun. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> don't let me know what's going on. You, you do you. But uh, no, I don't want to meet him. But I mean, this guy does sort of make a point. Because I mean, uh, when it comes to success, uh, when it comes to what you consider success, you know what I mean? You can't be, you have to be tough to become, I would assume to become, I'm not a billionaire. I think I'm a thousandaire. Like if I was the rate, I'd be like a, a hundredaire or a thousand year or something like that. But a thousandaire, yeah. But um, to become a billionaire, stuff like that. You can't be a nice person because you have to make a lot of sacrifices just to be in the range of a hundred thousand doctors, lawyers, um, um, whatever business that you could think of that um, would put you in that six figure range. You have to sacrifice a lot, a whole lot. And just doing that, you're not going to be a nice person just so for doing that. No, I'm being serious. I'm being dead serious. You're not going to be a nice person making six figures. Bruh. Because you got to, you have to be, you you have to be firm. You have to be, you have to be an alpha. Alphas, well, not an alpha, but you just have to be, is that okay? Should I use that term? Alpha? Okay, we'll use the term alpha. Okay, you have to be an alpha. Alpha's not nice. You know what I'm saying? Bruh. I'm being for real. An alpha is not nice. An alpha cannot be 
I mean, they could be nice, but not constantly. They cannot constantly be nice because you have to make tough decisions. And when you have to make tough decisions, not everybody's going to like the decision that you have to make. So you can't always be nice. At some point, you, you, you to be an alpha, to be up in there, you, you got to be a little, you got to be somewhat of a asshole. You know what I mean? You know, message. <laughs> if you think so, but <laughs> that's what I'm just saying. Like, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. So, to me, the brother got a point. To be, to me, the brother got a point. To be up there, you can't be kind. All right, um, <sighs> bomb me out, man. So Diddy Titty is going to get sued again. Let's see how this goes. Let's see if this man wins this lawsuit for being somewhat like I, this guy was basically molested. I don't I don't care what anybody says. He's just... <laughs> but I, my joint is why don't any of these guys like where not just their morals like where the f are they balls, man? Like, where the f are your balls? Why are you just letting some guy grope you and because he your boss? Isn't that sexual harassment? Isn't that sexual harassment? <laughs> Come on, man. Not the listen. Not not this job. Not here. Not here. I'm gonna tell you right now. Don't do it. <laughs> don't do it. Don't any one of y'all. I'm talking to my staff. Excuse me, listeners. I need a. a a second. Any one of the men here, you touch me? <sighs> Listen here, bruh. bruh. That Santa Claus, dun, 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 yeah. What's the dingle bell? Yeah. All day. I don't play that. I don't play that. <laughs> that, that go anywhere. I ain't with it. I ain't with it. So I don't understand how these people are allowing this man to just do that. You can't be that powerful. Not even not to me. I don't know. Like, I don't know anybody that that's like that's that powerful to where like and it's not like he's a president or something like that. Like he like he ain't even up there like that. Like, you know what I'm saying? But I don't I don't I don't I don't get it. I don't understand. Not me. Not me. I'm letting you know right now. I tell Puff Daddy to his face. You reach for my balls? Listen. Ha! <laughs> ha! I don't care if I work for you or not. You reach for my balls? To your balls? To your balls? To your balls? Bruh. I'm dead serious. Listen, I'm out of here. I'm out of here. I got to go pick my babies up from school. Let me get up out of here. All right. Uh, listen, if you like this content and want to hear more of it, yo, drop me out of here, man. Ball me out. If you like this content and want to hear more of it, y'all already know what to do. The links and everything are right there on your screen. All right. To all my people, I want to thank all my listeners for being here. You could be anywhere else in the world, but you are here with me, and I so, so appreciate that. Also, stay blessed and not stressed. Until next episode, y'all. Peace out.